what's happening? Uh, we're just back with the cleanup of the fight we just won the one against one of the uh, against one of the wild hunt guards. So if you haven't watched it, the episode before, it was basically me trying to potato my way through the fight, having to die three times. But that's what it is on hard, sometimes you die, sometimes you learn, and hope oh, we did both. Let's see what we have here, anything lurking around, we can loot, no, okay. Something over there, I think, yeah. Oh, in spirit. Oh, no, nothing else. Can't even break this stuff. Beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Where last we were together, not much to go on. Damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here, surely they saw the projection. They searched everything. And if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the Elf, not about Ciri. Well, we know they were well acquainted, and traveling together. Wonder why they split up. Perhaps because the Wild Hunt was on the Elf's trail, and Ciri would be safer if they did. The Witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. Crookback Bog. Kira, if you're hiding something. But I didn't say. You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Bellum. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet throughout my first fortnight in Bellum, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously, render it lucid, I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. Why didn't you say anything earlier? I told you Siri had a run-in with a witch. Well, I had no idea you meant them. If I'd told you something, you would have rushed off to find them. But we needed first to confirm that Siri was here, didn't we? I shall tell you everything now, of course. Now? After I safely led you through the cave? I can't believe you'd think so poorly of me. Perhaps you do bear a grudge against sorceresses. Mm hmm Can't imagine where that comes from. How do I find them? The swamps are vast. Dangerous. But they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog. And from that chapel, one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at Care Morhen. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do believe you'll find your Cirilla. All right then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. Why do we even come?
What's this? The potion I gave him. Seems he saw a use for it. Drank it. What's this? The potion I gave him. Seems he saw a use for it. Drank it. What was the potion for? Bear legend. Mage Herbalist. Hmm. Mysterious Mage Herbalist. Strange. My medallion's trembling, but there's nothing here. What's with this wall? It's an illusion. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I brought this. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. <laughs> Thanks. Leads. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? Magic lamp, a genie. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. Gavella Glan. We certainly find something here. Looks like another damned riddle to me. Sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. <clears throat> All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a riddle, all right. Let's see if we can solve this.
Okay, can you please repeat? Description again. Yeah. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in line. First, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, laid a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. again four guardians four flames standing proud in a line the first to light his fire dared not march on the end the second beside the first played a woeful lament the third kept close to his faithful beast the fourth marched not beside the first yet like the second played a tune and thus they stood o'er their queen who slept with the flickering stars Wait. You. Something just happened. Mm -hmm. Behind that wall, a movement. What was that inscription again? Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first, to light his fire, dared not march on the end. The second, beside the first, played a woeful lament. Mm -hmm. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet like the second played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen. Grave is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm. Sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulcher. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping mm -hmm. Ciri. Possible. This what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So Maybe what's it supposed to do? Hmm. I hope I'll be able to activate it. Let's leave this place, shall we? Damn it. 
Humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. going. It was worth it, right? You learned something about Siri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favor to ask you. So, visit me sometime. Okay. I'll stop by. You can be sure. In that case, I shall be waiting. See you, Kira. So, 
Where actually are we? Okay. See what we've got. One more. Okay, that's the additional storyline for the quick red box, which is... We'll do that later. Got a journey in the woods. Okay. So, we're gonna wrap things up here. And I'll catch you guys later with another episode of The Witcher. Stay tuned. Bye.